into the threads, and then I screwed this thing on. I screwed the thing in my right hand on, and then I hung the whole thing from above. I hung it from this pin without these two spacers on it, on a piece of uh, stuff that's still in the ceiling of my garage, matter of fact. I hung it on that, and then from the other end, I hung this colossally heavy uh, thing on a piece of wire. So I, I wanted to make sure that I took all the I took all the load on the threads and I put I I wanted it to be steel on steel in the interior, you know. So anyway, this is the uh, this is the uh, this is the top elevator pivot for my uh, shop elevator, and uh, my shop elevator is uh, is actually uh, ninety nine percent built. But I wanted to give you this little rundown about the shop elevator uh, pulley because uh, I know it's going to come up later, you know. And if you want your shop elevator to work correctly, everything has to be correct. And, uh, you know, this is as correct as I can get it, you know, with what I got. You know what I mean? The dot goes outside, the dot goes outside. I drilled these together and I, I welded them together. I drilled them, I cut them apart, and I faced off both ends while they were welded together. So this is as square as I could get it with, with what I got, you know, and I don't got, uh, and to be perfectly honest, I tried hanging this thing from a piece of, uh, this, I have a long piece of three quarter inch that I, that I put a level on and I hung it between two ladders, shimmed it level. <coughs> and then I have a long piece of half I stuck through here. I put a small level on that, although that's something less than ideal. As near as I can determine, they're parallel. They're, let's put it this way. They're somewhat close to parallel. Uh, although there's still some disturbing aspects to the, uh, to the whole geometry of this thing. But uh, disturbing as it may be, you know, uh, it is what it is. And uh, it's the top elevator pivot. And uh, I'll show you right now what I hung it from. I hung it from... Uh, from this, see that Bessie clamp? That Bessie clamp is holding a piece of, uh, I think it's quarter by one and a half flat bar or something. And that's on the top of my garage there. And that holds the, uh, that holds the, uh, that top pin. And under this wrapper, I'm going to give you a special preview, special preview over here. There's the hoist, okay? I got it covered because my bench grinder is right above it. And it throws off a lot of crap. <coughs> and uh, over here where you can hardly see it is my elevator frame. My elevator frame is triangular shaped. And, uh, and it features... These are four wheels that came off Carnival Ride. I turned them all to a uniform size on the OD. I made these washers to hold them on. Of course, I made the whole frame. We'll get we'll get more into the frame later. But uh, yeah, when when I got it out in the open, as you can tell, it's crammed in my garage behind some other crap right now. But uh, it's an exciting frame, and it's it's as near to square as I could get it. And uh, you know, that's this is what's this. <laughs> Here's my photography studio. I. <laughs> I held the iPad thing down right here on top of this uh, board. And, uh, you know, kind of like this. And, uh, yeah, this is where the show and tell was. And, uh, you know, this is where we like to do the show and tell routine. There's your Timken bearing. It's a, it's a genuine Timken, by the way. It turned out the metric bolt had a, had a ground part on it. A ground OD. Where it goes through the bearing, the ground part was 0.635. The whole, the through bore in the bearing was 0.638. So it was the closest bearing, it was the closest bolt I had to matching the bearing bore. Okay? You can just barely see in that crack right there, one thread maybe. But the action is good. The whole idea behind this thing was I needed to pivot at the top because I figured, since this is not a level wind winch, and since the elevator is going to approach this thing from uh, 16 feet away, but it's eventually going to get right up to it 
within kissing distance. I wanted this to be able to pivot because I wanted the cable to wind on the winch as nearly even as evenly back and forth as as it as this thing would permit it to do. Now I don't even know that this thing's gonna move, okay? To be perfectly honest, I might have wasted a, a working weeks of a working week of effort making this damn thing. But uh but if it does pivot, great. And if it doesn't pivot, eh, I wasted some time and money. Oh well, well, you know, that's how it is in the city. There it is. Some dial arc welds. And uh you know, with luck, it'll work. And there's the epoxy and there's some other parts. You know. Okay, so that's about it for now. And uh, here's my hands twiddling around. Okay, see you later.